Hey, everybody. Happy holidays. Justin Carrier here. Going to go over our spirit celebration <clears throat> coaches meeting for this upcoming weekend. Hope you guys are excited. It takes place on Saturday and Sunday at K. Bailey Hutchinson. All right. I wanted to remind you, first of all, to bring one unwrapped toy per athlete on Saturday morning. In addition to that, Spectators can get a discount on their tickets by bringing a wrapped toy as an unwrapped toy as well. So make sure you bring that with you to, to the competition, benefiting I Can Still Shine, which is a great, great group. We're going to have more information on site and representatives from I Can Still Shine to say thank you in person. So we really appreciate everybody who's taking part in our toy drive again. <clears throat> Spectator information. Doors will open at 8 a.m. As a reminder, no cash sales for tickets. Five years of age and under are free and do not need a ticket. Military ID is required for a, the military discount. Um, you can access your tickets through the confirmation email after you purchase online in your show clicks account or print your tickets at home and then bring them on site to the box office and you will receive your wristband. Uh, everybody must be available to pick up tickets. They must be present in person. Uh, the parking is $20 per parking spot. There's a lot of different parking around downtown, so feel free to look around. You don't have to park in the parking garage and we'll have concessions as usual and event merchandise as usual. Registration for you guys who are in charge of registration. Coaches check-in starts at 745 in the morning. There will be an athlete holding area on the second floor of the arena. Um, please bring all the typical stuff when you check in your all-star rosters, your compliance cover sheet, your rec verification form, if you are a rec team, and of course, your proof of music licensing and your photo ID to pick up all your coach's credentials. Every coach has to pick up their own credential. They need to bring their ID. And of course, they need to have an active green light in USASF membership. If you have questions about your membership, there's Kinshasa's contact information with the USASF. Uh, here are the event contacts if you have any questions. My name's not listed here, but I'm always here for you as well. But we've got Bonita, AC, Josh, and Matt. All four of them, including myself, will be on site to answer any questions that you have. Uh, for the warm-up, we've got two warm-up areas. If you're competing in the arena, you will warm up in the A ballrooms. If you're competing in the A hall, you will warm up backstage of the A hall. Everybody entering the warm-up needs to have their wristband on, and everyone entering the warm-up and not in uniform must be wearing the wristband, and make sure any athletes that go back there are in uniform as well. You'll need to check in about 10 minutes prior to your scheduled warm-up time, and here are the rotations, eight minutes on each station. Foam floor, two strips wide, or three strips wide, and then a spring tumble strip, and then a full-size spring floor. That would be the same place where we have audio. Score sheets will be available. Uh, they'll be emailed to you uh, 15 to 20 minutes after your team performs. You can request paper copies of your score sheet, but we are not automatically printing them. AccuScore will be located in the A corridor where it was last year for those of you guys that attended. Any requests need to be submitted officially there. And then final results will be posted in the coaches band at the end of the day. Award ceremonies will take place on Saturday for the prep and novice teams and then on Sunday for everybody else. And they will always occur in the venue in which you competed. So your awards will be in the same venue where you competed and you can the final schedule just went out a little while ago. But as you can see, when you look at that, it will show you each session what divisions will be included in awards. All athletes will receive the souvenir medallion and teams who place will receive additional awards as well. All of our division splits are done. We split D1, D2 automatically in, all, in every allowed division, at least. And then we've got some other splits as well that you guys have already seen on the schedule. Here's a list of our end of season bids for Worlds, U Summit, Summit, D2 Summit, Regional Summit, and the Rec Summit, Quest Rec Championship, and the U.S. Finals. Everything is listed right there. Um, as a reminder, we will be doing regional full paid summit bids on site during the event. And then Regional Summit and all the summits will be available during the bid reveal that happens on Monday night on Varsity TV. Uh, music. This is important. We're not responsible for providing an adapter or a dongle for you guys. So make sure if you need an adapter for whatever you're playing music on, make sure you bring that as well and hold on to it. Um, we will only provide sound systems and sound systems are only allowed in the practice room on the main floor. No CDs, please. 
Uh, here's the media policy that you guys have seen before. Nothing new here. And then here's the coverage page on Varsity TV where you can get all the information about streaming the competition. Coach's Hospitality Room is in a new spot this year. We're trying it somewhere different. Look where that blue star is. It's located in room A201. It's down the hall from Coach's check-in, AccuScore, and the practice check-in for the hall. So down, all the way down by the big doors where A hall practice check-in, there's another hall that takes you. It's kind of backstage of the arena. You'll see it when you get there. Where that blue star is is exactly where you will have the Coach's Hospitality Room. All right, that was short and sweet. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to anybody here that was listed on the screen earlier with any questions that you might have. And of course, you can always email or text me. My email is jcarrier at varsity.com. This is uh, the largest spirit celebration event we've had in at least the last five or six years. I'm excited for your athletes that they get to attend, but I'm really excited for all the toys that you guys are gonna bring. It's gonna be a great holiday season for everybody. So look forward to seeing you guys this weekend. Again, hit me up if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.